Hi, and welcome to today's lecture, which will be on being submerged in Tartarus and so, on crossing the abyss, on being submerged in the hades of Eleusinian mysteries, in which a mistress, a hierophant, and hierophantides uh, took place. So, how it is like in real life? I won't guide you towards the process, but how it is perceived? You need to be broad awake, and all of a sudden your soul and your mind full awakened no no not in sleep not in visions not in dream state starts falling and swirling around through eons timeless and spaceless and as you are falling and falling and falling and falling all of a sudden you are submerged in great monolithic cosmic winds there are some forms there, but those forms are gigantic these are the titans and as you witness this infinite space, infinite time, you go back to yourself and then you reascend towards your body, you fly towards the great abysses, above which some idiot magicians are talking, blah 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 blah. You go through the sticks, you go through the little fishes of the abyss on the surface that are human shadows and solids of the underworld. And then you return to your body with a mission. You are designed and assigned to a certain sphere. Now I've been through many ketonic worlds, including the fires, or as some call it, the ocean of fires. I won't reiterate upon the worlds I visited so far and in which I was in a way baptized, baptized in the abyss, baptized in the fires, baptized in the tonic waters, and so on and so on. But the most important part is the duty that you receive. In my case, I was assigned to Aditon Kronion, Kronion or the inner temple of Saturn. And after I pass away, I am taking over the duties that I was assigned and designated. Now in this world on earth, nobody gives a damn if you succeeded in such an operation, honestly. It's you that must survive, you must secure financial, you must secure foundations, you must secure your grounds, because the ride will be quite insane. First of all, you've got all the demonic realities, cacodaimon, ectonic, that will ride on your back and test you whether you are ready for that, to prepare you. And I witnessed seven years of utter terror and hell. I was walking through hell alive while other humans unaware were walking like passers by. I was seeing the great gargoyles, the great black earth, the walking dead, everything. And I had to preserve my focus and concentrations not to go insane and all that. Do I still see it? Yes, but I am much more tougher now. And in 2013 there was a breakthrough. Namely, Isis shed her veils and I could see the great Caducian rod, the spirits of the planets, the magnificent sun disks entwined with Urius, and I still see them. Now, how to explain it to the people? I don't wish to, because there is a case in silence and daring, and I'm conveying it as an artifact of understanding to some of you who might be interesting what it is like to truly cross the Tugal perception, as the Buddhists call it, the submersion in the cosmic voids, the cosmic hells, in order to be assigned, as I believe, by the dragon Ea of the Abyss to receive the seals, and the seals that are inscribed both in the veins of the hands and in the spirit, first and foremost, for it to safely bypass the earthly grounds because it was submerged in the cosmic void so it bypassed the whole solar system in essence in the physical reality so there is no way no bloody way anyone can stop me from fulfilling my duties however there were plenty of judeo-christian imbeciles there were plenty of political religious magical ideological cretins trying to pull me left and right trying to test whether they can use me and my voice that was long taken, but it is still heard amongst the ethers in the Hades and in the Abyss, as I am talking now. They are reacting. Oh yes, they are. And they are observing not what I'm doing, 
but what is done to me. And on this basis judgments are made. Because for violating a person with CD, for violating a person who has successfully attained a certain degree, there are also punishments for those who violated the integrity of body, mind, souls and spirit of such people. And as we talk now, every day I need to deal with Judah Christian angel pigs or the fly pigs that try to stop me from the ascent to a power and dominion and I've won a lot of dominion by now. To prevent what happened anyway. And they mock the gods and goddesses by doing that. They think their Jew God is of any significance here. The providence of gods and goddesses and of the great expanses of the old Sumeria, Babylon, Egypt, of the dragon powers is mocking them. Because there, are, there is a huge price to pay. There is a deadly price to pay for those souls, minds and bodies that transgressed the laws of the gods and moved against their own. As for me, I haven't gained the power upon earth. I would rise quite swiftly if I wouldn't be stopped by deluded, ignorant fools. Nothing lost as my spirit ascends into a god body of Ankh, of the tree of life. Akkadian, not some Kabbalistic Jewish bullshit that was actually invented in the 10th century Moorish Spain by Judeo-Arabic trafficking. Jews thieved it from the Arabs and the Arabs knew it from Babylonians. Akkad. So, wanted or not, slay my body, behead me, and my spirit shall ascend. And as it will ascend to very, very profound dominion, it will decide what to do with the rest of you. I was treated unkindly on earth. It was a war that made me. And I want to see how each and every individual participating in violating my integrity will survive such a war. Because their necks and souls Thank you.